With Grammys, Emmys and Oscar nominations to her credit, the self-styled queen of trash, Bette Midler, is one of the more beloved stars in Hollywood. While the brash entertainer can be seen as somewhat abrasive at times, there's no denying that she's a dynamic force who's found major success in both music and movies. It's while performing that Bette is most happy, and she hit the road in 2004 for her tour titled Kiss My Brass. Her biggest and most theatrical show to date, she believed she gave her fans more than they bargained for. People have gotten so beaten up by concerts, they think, well, I'm not going to really see very much. Someone will stand in front of the band, they'll sing. Maybe I'll understand the words, maybe I won't. Maybe they're lip syncing, maybe they're not. Well, we don't lip sync, we sing all live, we play all live, and we, I don't know, it's just, and maybe it's a throwback, but I, I have to tell you, it's a really exciting show. Just as accomplished as an actress as she is a singer, in 1979 she played the title role of a 1960s drug-addicted rock star in The Rose, for which she was nominated the Academy Award for Best Actress. Her other notable film roles include Beaches, which also spawned the hit The Wind Beneath My Wings, For The Boys, for which she was again Oscar nominated, Hocus Pocus, The First Wives Club and 2004's The Stepford Wives. Today. The Divine Miss M is still going strong more than 30 years after her first musical breakthrough and she shows no sign of slowing down anytime soon. Mm -hmm.